Budget management is crucial for any cooperative organization by comparing the amount we actually spend and the expected expenditure. We may use a budget to evaluate the performance of our business. Budgets frequently give you the freedom to prepare the financial security of the organization and enable you to take the action for the well-being of your organization in the future. And it is simple to handle the budget in the company with uh, Odoo's very advanced budget management tool and it helps you to enable organizations to effectively manage and arrange expenses. So let's see how to configure the budget. Let's see how can we manage budget in Odoo 16 accounting module. So first let's get into the accounting module in order to manage the budget. So under the configuration settings, we have to manage the budget management, which means we have to enable the budget management that would allow you to compare the actual and expected cost and revenue. So we have a section called analytic under there. You can see an option of budget management. And we also need to manage the analytic accounting that would allow us to track uh, the cost and revenues by project and department. So once you enable these features, you can save the settings. So as you enable these settings, you would be able to manage the budget from the accounting tab. And you can also manage the uh, analytic accounting under uh, the configuration menu. Now let's create a new budget. So in order to create a new budget, you can just click on new button and here you can provide the name of the budget. So let me give the name of the budget as budget 2023. And here you can provide the responsible person and you also need to provide the period which is mandatory. So I will be considering uh, this month. So we know that this month contains 30 days and I will be providing the start date and end date of this period. Under the budget lines, you can provide the budgetary position. Budgetary positions are nothing but they are a list of accounts which you want to maintain the budget. And that includes account for expenses and revenues. So here let me uh, create a... Uh, revenue of this budget revenue account so you can provide the name as revenue and in order to get the revenue uh, of this budget i will be choosing a product sale account and you can select that and save this here you can also set an analytic account so let me set the analytic account name as budget 2023 and here you can provide the plan and you can also set that um, I mean you can set the domain so let's uh, set it for the invoice and you can set the prefix over here and you can also set the applicabili applicability and you can save this afterwards you can include the budgetary position revenue and you can set the start date and end date that is the period of this afterwards you can save this and here you also need to provide the budget uh, name so that is budget 2023 so let's save this you can set a planned amount over here so planned amount is nothing but the amount that we are using for the expense so you here you can set the planned amount or in other words we can say that planned amount is the amount that you're planning to spend or earn and the practical amount is the actual amount that you have to spend or earn that is the income that entered uh, to the account till the date that is the received amount from the invoice uh, and we have theoretical amount that is the amount that you are supposed to earn or spend that is the total earning till the date and you might be getting the achievement that is the ratio of practical amount and uh, theoretical amount and you can consider the percentage of that so let's see how can we manage uh, the yeah revenue now uh, we can also consider an um, expense account so let me consider the expense account so while we manage with the project and all we will be going through different expenses so we can include all those expenses so let me consider the expense accounts first so i need the expense account salary account so let me select that and let me also add the expense for uh, yeah equipment now you can just select that and save and here also you can set the budget that is the analytic accounting 
Afterwards, you can just get into the internal link. And here, you can fill other details. Like here, you also need to ensure that you have set the prop, I mean, the invoice uh, under the plan, that is the domain. So here, under the vendor bill, you can set the prefix and all. And you can set the plan as optional for applicable applicability. Now, you can just back. Yeah. So we have just created a budget for 2023. Now let's create uh, an invoice and vendor bill. And let's see how this is affected. So for that, you can just go to the invoices. And let's create a new invoice. And here you can fill out other details uh, like the customer and all. Let me choose the um, yeah product from here. So let me choose the product as customizable desk. And here uh, I'm going to choose the 10 quantity of customizable desk. And you can see the price will be 7500 and ensure that the account is product sale account. And you also need to set the uh, plan hour here, which is budget 2023 for the analytic accounting. Then only we can compare the actual and expected revenue and cost. So you can just uh, confirm this. So as you confirm this, under the budget, you would be able to see the change in the uh, practical amount. That is the income that entered uh, till the account till the date that is the received amount from the invoice and here you can see the theoretical amount so theoretical amount can be easily calculated so theoretical amount is nothing but you can consider the planned amount which is 25,000 that is the amount that we are planned to plan for this budget now we know that there are 30 days uh, in this month so let's divide it by 30 so the amount or the budget for one day will be 833.33 uh, and so on. And afterwards, let's consider the date of today. Today is 19th and you can see, um, you can just multiply the amount with 19 and you might be getting 15,833.3333 and so on. So uh, here you can see uh, the theoretical amount uh, is calculated and you can get the achievement uh, by taking the ratio of practical amount and theoretical amount. So let me consider the practical amount as 7500 and let's divide because we need to consider the ratio. So you might be getting an amount over here. Now you can just consider the percentage of that and you will be getting 47.36 uh, which is I mean uh, this is rounded and set it as 47.37. Now let's consider a vendor bill and let's see how we can manage an expense in a budget. So in order to manage that, you can just choose the bills and let's cl create a new bill. Here you can uh, set the name, I mean a name of the vendor and it is mandatory to set the bill date. So let me choose the bill date as well as you can fill out the other details. Uh, okay, so let me set the yeah product over here. And you can set the price of the product. So let me set the pro uh, product price as 100. And I need 10 quantity of the product. And the uh, amount will be 100. I mean 1000. And you can see here ensure that you have set a proper account. And uh, here we also need to consider the analytic accounting. In order to compare the actual cost and expected cost in the budget. So you can save this and confirm the bill. So once you confirm the bill, you can see the change under the budget. So when you move on to the budget, you can just get the budget over here and the amount will be indicated as minus 100 because this is the expense. So the expense and you can see the practical amount is calculated over here. This is because the amount or the revenue that we have gained um, here is 7,500 and we have an expense of 1,000. So 7,500 minus uh, 1,000 will be 6,500 and you can also get the theoretical amount over here. Now if you want to just validate this budget, you can just click on confirm button and approve and finally we have validated 
the budget and you can just click on done in order to complete the process now under the entries you would be able to see the budget that is you can see how uh, from where the budget budget has affected from which um invoice or uh, all other details as well as including the analytic account the plan the company and every details will be shown uh, under the entries so it is very easy to man manage the budget of an organization in order to check the range of the organization uh, in the market or how the organization is running and all so hope this concept is clear for you as always stay awesome and thank you for watching the video